Why do green chemistry? Why do green chemistry? You know, it's not my job. You know, I like to talk about the chef. It says, the meals I make are delicious. Sure, they're poisonous, but there are other sh uh, chefs working on non-lethal cooking. The architect that says the homes I build are luxurious and beautiful. Yes, they collapse and kill people on a regular basis, but there are other people working on safe housing. The car designer who says I build cars that are fast, powerful, beautiful. Yes, they fall apart unexpectedly. And people die, but there are other designers working on sustainable cars. And then the chemist. I've developed some of the best methodologies and processes for making hundreds of target molecules, tar target molecules that are improving the world. Sure, they harm humans and the environment, but there are other chemists working on green chemistry. For the same reason that the first three examples were absurd, this is absurd. And yet, throughout the history of chemistry, and sadly, even in large swaths today, this is not considered absurd. This is considered the orthodoxy. That green chemistry is not my job. It's somebody else's job. Somebody else has to worry about that. I'm just doing research. I'm just making this widget. I'm just making this shampoo. I'm no, somebody else, the engineers will clean up the, uh, uh, the waste, et cetera, et cetera. And what we understand now is that we can have the building blocks um, of chemistry, of the economy, that doesn't have to have these uh, unintended consequences.